Working at the Riften Fishery is tough. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Take a look. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Beautiful baubles, green gems over here. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elanir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. Keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply, so if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. Well, I'd be careful if I were you. I hear the Nords hunt them for some kind of initiation rite, and not all of them end up victorious. The last traveler that Blood traded me some said he found them at a place bones. called Throw Ancient's Ascent. Careful though, rumor has it a dragon makes its home there. They live below the streets in the Ratway like dirty animals, and trust me, they're no better than the vermin that slink out of there for scraps. They make it difficult for decent people to earn a living. Of course, not many decent people live here in the first place. It's Riften's name for the sewers beneath our feet. Absolutely disgusting. If you fancy keeping your purse filled with gold and your head on your shoulders, I'd stay out of those awful tunnels. Be careful looking for those teeth. Those little bastards are dangerous. Make love like a saber cat, or crush your enemies to dust like a giant. Only a mere 20 gold coins, and all this could be yours. Meat and produce. Get them well met, friend. How can I help you? Buying and selling. Buying jewelry here. The fairest prices and the highest quality in Sky. Safe travels. Need a drink, you go to the B and Bar. Stay out of the been a good friend to me. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stables, so I said yes. If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. Until next time. Any luck with Seth? By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Until next time.
Can I help you? If you're looking for a bed, this is the wrong place. What? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look, we need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellin arts in Riften, they'll run me out of town. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svama. This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Helga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. I don't know why I bother. Oh. Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like a skeever when you pulled them out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here. I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. or ingredients, let me know. You here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh Nern root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. Then there's Ingen Blackbriar. Right young thing and a worthy apprentice, when she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. <laughs> Ah, so you're an alchemist then. <laughs> yes, yes. This goodbye. place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore Stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. 
He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify, and was willing to pay us well for it. I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingen girl. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing, so he focuses a lot of attention on her. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, is disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyacre just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. Be careful. The road to shore is stone. Dangerous. Sorry, just thinking about my experiments. I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Nernrud is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought You're me here for lessons. Take a look. Yes, yes, goodbye. Have you met? Take a look. Be careful. The road to shore is stone.
What is it? Hmm? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denyo Balu or Marmal. All right, then. Blessings of Mara upon you. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Hmm? Good day. Come to laugh at the grave tender? If you're trying to ask if I tend the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is yes. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. 
Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. My father was a priest of Arkay. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun, and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. A priest of Arke is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. I had to, for honor's sake, but I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new High Priest's dagger, but I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer to one day tend the shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the white gold concordat, she ran off to join the storm cloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? She died out there, only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. He's the protector of man, the dragon of the north, the patron of all Nords. And despite the Imperials and their treaty, he will always be one of the Nine Divines. A devout Nord would rather fall in battle and have his blood spill upon the earth than allow the Empire to strike his name from the divinity. Talos is part of our culture. He's part of our heritage and our tradition. He's Skyrim personified. To suddenly have all that wrenched away is like losing someone you hold dearly in your heart. The Empire already took my daughter from us, but by Talos, they will not take our homeland. Talos preserve you.
Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. If this isn't about official city business, you're wasting my time. Scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. No, oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun of the Jarl's youngest son? Welcome to Riften, Traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Good journey to you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim. The Black Briar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. You're welcome in Riften. As long as Riften's steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited As Yar Leila's house guard, speak your mind. I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood, or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Jarl. I will not allow her to fall. Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim 
with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Ratway and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yara Leila unprotected. I'm You're keeping welcome my eye on you. As long as you continue to obey our laws. Oh, such colors! Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing! Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. The blue thing? But even the simplest harmonic field is composed of entirely... Wait just a moment. The blue thing... Yes, yes, yes! I can see your point. Draw out the necessary energies using a Jarl apparatus. But wait. What about soul reversal? You must be aware of the consequences when using the apparatus near an open magic field. Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. N no, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer Spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Igristed. Felstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum Ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh well. Winterhold. You want the college there. They teach. So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Spiders.
vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. If you're looking for a handout, you want to... If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Bully's around somewhere, planning to feed the poor with his nonsense about Mara.
better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Sure. How about you mind your own business about it? And I won't have to get dirge to toss you into the cistern. Take a look. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. I have no business with you. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. They call me Dirge, because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Oh yeah? I think so too. You're pretty smart. Hey, here. Have one on the house. I already told you. They call me Dirge, because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, this sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Yes, I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. But no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned my art from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I count the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. Change it. I can remake your face, if that's what you desire. I do not practice my art for free, however. I doubt you can afford my services. You have the smell of the vagabond about you. Indeed, it is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. Got a lot of nerve coming down here. People tend to get hurt in the rat way.
Yes, yes. Closer. I won't fight. Promise. Come over here. Please. Pretty Their fires lit up the night. All across Lake Rumere. Like stars come to Earth. It was beautiful, really. I'm very dangerous. Don't make me come out there and hurt you. If my friends find out you've been bothering me, they would be very sorry. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble.
Well, hey, that's not something you see every- I've never seen the old this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. You gonna buy something? Everything I've got on display, really. Only 20 septums each. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows. Can I interest? I learned that a matron who had served for House oh, yeah. Telvani had escaped Morrowind during the Accession War. I've anything you would. Everything I've got on display, really. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. What can I do for you? Good journey to you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. The reforming the Dawn God, Vampire God. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. If you're looking to settle in Rift, then there's a the house for sale. think us all lawless beasts. See the I'm steward in the keep if you want it.
Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Ah, finally. So, I'm not stealing anything. Besides, some jail time isn't gonna make me roll over and play dead. Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Svidi. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Rifton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. Amusing. When speaking of the Blackbriars, only one thought should spring to mind. We are not to be trifled with. Help us, you end up rich. Cross us, and you'll end up a memory. Is that enough information for you? Visit me anytime. I'm not going anywhere soon. You aren't worth my time. Piss off. I could have left it. I could have put it back. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Rifton Fishery. My job at the Rifton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Wally said that if I show up for work Stop. in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I won't. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. You, you must take the lexicon. 
the memories. I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. You must bring it to a Monchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. It is done. I won't go back to a Monchenzel. I won't. I won't go back to a Martian fan. I won't. What is it? Dragons? Who in the name of Azura are you? Are you kidding me? We're all alone out here except for a few guards who couldn't give a damn about us. We make easy pickings for thieves looking to steal everything we worked so hard for. Not only did they take my bow, but they took all of our coin as well. Nothing sacred to these people. A few days ago, some thieves from Riften broke in here and stole it. Can you imagine? Took the only thing of value we had. If you have the guts to head into the Ratway and get my bow back, I'll pay you what I can. That's it. That's my bow. I don't know how you got it back, and I don't want to know. Frankly, I don't even care. I'm just so glad to see it again. Here. This is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Hope it's enough. Dragons, thieves, and war. I should have stayed in Morrowind. We could always use help picking pops if you need a few extra coins. 